Hi, it's me again, and I'm back with some more of your real-life TV licensed goon visits that you filmed on your video doorbells or whatever. One of my most requested videos to do this is, and look, I've got my green screen back as well. So let's go through them, and I'll warn you in advance, they're not all very exciting. Some of them are just goons standing there not getting the door answered to them. The reason I've included them is because they hate it. They absolutely hate it when I put their face on the internet. So it's worth doing for that. And if you are one of the goons who hates it and you want to go reporting it to YouTube like you have before, remember one important fact here. You're standing on someone's private property being filmed. The property owner has sent me the clip with full permission to use it on this channel. If you don't like being filmed and put on the internet, don't knock on the doors. Right, so we're going to start off with a textbook example, absolute textbook of how to deal with a visit from the goons. Have a look at this, it's textbook. Hello. Hi, apologies, you said that lives here? Yes. Yes, all it is. Just updating the TV license records. All right, yeah, we're, we're not interested. Right, okay, cool. Okay. No worries. Thanks very much. Have a good day. You too. All right, so it's not quite as textbook as I thought. I only watched it earlier on and I thought it was absolutely... It's, what, 95% textbook, that one? The only thing that went wrong there is all polite and it was perfectly executed and they went away, they got nothing, they don't know anything about what he's watching, they don't know anything. But he did answer a question. You know, he said, is it yourself that lives here? And he went, yeah. There's only two things you need to say to a goon when they knock on your door. Two things, that's it. Who are you? And no thanks, goodbye. That's it. So no matter how many questions they ask, right? Hello, who are you? Oh, is it yourself that lives here? Who are you? Oh, we're, we're just checking if it's you that lives here. Who are you? And if they don't answer, no, right, goodbye. Shut the door. Or if they do, hi, I'm from TV licensing. No, thanks, goodbye. Otherwise, it was spot on. It was polite. You know, everything was friendly, the way life should be, right? And they left with nothing, and he won't get any comeback from it. That's how to do it. That's a nice way... So I thought we could start off with that. So, right, let's have a look at the next one. It's my name. It's the owner or the tenant. Sorry. Say that again, sorry. Are you the owner or the tenant? None of your business. I'm um, calling on behalf of TV licensing. Hey. It's my name. It's me. All right. Richard. Um, I'm going to ask you a few questions about your TV license, hopefully set, set you up a new one. You can ask whatever question you want. Do you have a TV in the property? None of your business. Okay. Um, can you prove, can we, if we can come in, if you don't have a TV, if we can come in and prove that you don't have a TV, then we can take you off the address structure. I will not let you in this property. Okay, I can mark all that down. Perfect. All right. Thank you very much. Actually, I'd like to make a note. Um, yeah. I'd like to withdraw your implied rights of access. Why, well, I've stopped it there, or he's, he wants to remove his implied rights of access, which I, we'll talk about in another video. I won't talk about that here now. But he just let him stand there asking questions. He identified himself as from TV licensing. No, thank you. Close the door. No good. They'll stand there all day and talk to you because this is what they do for a living and some of them are quite good at it. They know the longer they can engage with you, the more chance they've got of you saying something you shouldn't have said. If one knocks on your door, no, thank you. And you close the door. That's it. Don't say anything else. Don't sign anything. Don't engage with them. Don't think you can argue them out for sport or anything like that. Why? What's the point? Move on with your day. No thank you. Close the door. Right, what's next? Because we're going to get into the not very entertaining ones now, I think. Where are we? Hello, number two. May have missed your attention because please take no, this. Come on. Very well. In that case, ma'am, how many televisions have you got? Come on, ask the question. 
Now, I accept, I don't believe that that's a TV licensed goon. He's carrying an Ipsos Mori clipboard. Could be a goon. We don't get the full identification of it. But I wanted to talk about it because what a rude scummy git. What an absolutely rude scummy git. They've closed the door. Where is it? They've closed the door. How many televisions have you got? Come on, ask the questions. And you can hear him continue to knock on the glass of the door. How many TVs have you got? Come on, answer the question. Piss off. The door's been shut. Jog, mate. What was that? What was that? So it may have been a goon dressed up as Ipsos Mori, or it might genuinely be Ipsos Mori. They might be in cahoots with each other. Don't know. All I know is what a scummy git. If the door's shut, mate, walk away. And keep knocking. How many tellies have you got? I'll throw one at you in a minute if you're not careful. Right, anyway, he wound me up a bit, that one. Who's next? So this is just one of the ones where they've turned up and been filmed on a camera. It looks like above a door rather than a doorbell camera, this one. Don't know, I'll leave it plain because not much happens. They just stand there. But I just wanted to put their faces out on the internet just so you know that these two are TV license enforcement officers, goons, door-to-door -door salesmen that go around pestering good people to pay 159 quid a year, trying to get into people's homes every day of the week, even though they're probably doing something right. These could knock on my door, and I play a completely straight game. I don't watch or record anything that's been broadcast or use BBC iPlayer, and these two could demand, to, we need to come into your property to make sure you're not doing anything wrong. That's who these people are. They prey on, and remember, right, remember one important fact about it is that it's disproportionately women that get in trouble with TV licensing because of people, because of people like this. They're bullies and they're not nice people. And nothing makes me happier than seeing them stand out in the cold, not earning any commission. Yeah, you keep looking at the camera, mate. Go on, keep looking. I tell you, what, I'll freeze frame right on your ugly mug. There you go. Good. No money for you today. Right, what's the next one? I think we've got one more. So yeah, no answer again for him. And, um, you know, nothing more to say than what I said on the last one. Apart from, let's see if we can find a nice shot of his face. And I'll put that up nice and big. So that everyone knows what kind of thing he does. He does for a living. Are you proud of yourself? There's other jobs you could do. I wonder how much they do get paid. We know what the base rate pay is, but we don't know what their commission structure is. And I would like to know. Some people have said they get 20 quid a sale. Some people have said they get 25 quid a sale. But what about for prosecutions and things like that? I would like to know. Right, last one. Of course, grainy, isn't it? So again, it's just another one knocking on the door and not getting an answer. Looks like it's been filmed on a potato, this one, but I'll try and freeze frame it as best I can on his face. And remember, goons who watch this, because I know you do, and I know loads of goons watch it when I do these specific videos showing your faces. Remember, you are on someone's private property. They can film what they want on their private property. And if they want to send it to me with full permission for me to use it, that's perfectly okay. And there is nothing you can do about it. So your face is now on the internet. Congrats. Are you proud of yourself? Are you proud of the job that you do? Scaring and intimidating people for the sake of 159 quid a year when most people probably don't need to pay it anyway? Scum. Yeah, some of these I've had saved up for quite a while, because not many people send me these anymore. I used to get loads of them, but now most people are just putting them on their own TikTok or whatever. I don't know, and good for them, that's okay. But if you've got one you filmed on your phone or on your doorbell or something, do send it over so we can share it with everyone and let everyone see how to deal with them or just what they look like. And uh, as always, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video again soon, won't I? Ta-da!